Ian, Analog, who have, who have made several FPGA consoles going back to the NES era with, with the NT Mini, the Super NT, the Mega SG. Uh, they announced the Duo, the upcoming Pocket, which I think is still set for December at this point yeah. to launch the first batch. But there was an announcement out of nowhere for the Analog OS or the Analog Operating System to be attached to the Pocket. Uh, some people were confused on, on Twitter uh, when they announced it on Twitter. Um, I was on a couple of points, which I'll get into on the marketing, but it was surprising to me to see to see this because this is almost like an evolution of their product line. Because before, you know, all their consoles is like, oh, you turn them on and you play them like the traditional consoles. You pop in a cart, you play them. Uh, adding an an OS to a product, you're now bridging the gap between original hardware. And you know emulation features, which well, is interesting. There's always been an OS on their systems. You can fire up the oh uh, sure. You can fire up the analog Mega SG, which I have. Uh, yes, you can right. do You can do all that stuff. But this is this is more integrated. This is game related. This is more integrated, yeah. more game related. Sure. Um, and it, it and it does it it and it it makes the pocket closer to what I saw the pocket as being when it was announced and I got excited for. So when the pocket was announced, obviously it does GBA, um, Game Boy, Game, box, Boy Color. Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, uh, with adapters. It'll do Lynx, Game Gear, uh, and Neo Geo pocket color and, and Turbo Express and Turbo Express. Um, it also was highly touted as having a second FPGA in the unit. So people could add cores to it to, um, you know, potentially do other... make it the micro vision <laughs> the micro vision right. or whatever analog is always very upfront like this is not for emulation etc cetera, etc cetera. but it's always crackable with the barest of effort mm -hmm. and i mean that's literally where this ends up going what what is the point of having a second fpga in in the system for sure. people are going to develop cores for it to do things um so i always started to kind of look at it as kind of like a portable all-in-one uh, because if you could put other cores on there, even if it would be kind of a pain to swap cores out, you now have something with the dock that you can drop and play just about anything you want on, on TV. On your TV. Yeah. Um, so basically, this now becomes uh, a commercial mister is what it becomes. Mister is all FPGA cores, uh, connects to the TV, and I think that's really where they're taking their cues from here, and I think that's where it's a little weird, is that you now you have the hobbyists versus the the the, the, the business-minded entities here. Um, but this is obviously using, you know, real physical media versus the ROMs of, you know, Mister folks. It's still just pulling a ROM off of a cartridge. Mm. I mean, it's... That's not what this is doing, though. That's in terms of that's what this is doing right now. I'm saying that the end goal of this is that it's going to be used with ROMs just like a Mister. I mean, it, it could be sure, but what I'm saying it's, is it, that's yeah, that's the wink, wink, nudge, nudge here. Oh, you think so? Okay, I'll, yes. I was going to read the, what the, the marketing thing was. Okay, booting soon the pocket. Analog OS is a start of something big. At its heart, Analog OS is pur is purpose built for exploring and celebrating all of video game history, designed to be the definitive scholarly operating system for playing and experience the entire scholarly. Medium. Uh, with with analog OS, you can explore, discover, and play through all the, all of video game history. Save your game state at any moment with cartridges, and that's new and has not been done before. No, uh, create and share playlists, track your gameplay, and even develop your own FPH cores to help preserve video game history too. It's all for the love of video games with the respect it deserves. And that is one of the big things that is being done with it. Um, supposedly, save states with cartridges yes. using fpga if you that's big uh, I, I i looked into um i looked into what mister is capable of doing on that ends and i believe the nes core is now able to do it and there's like one oh the gba core was well known for being able to do it but it's not something that is universal across all cores so if that is what if that if this is going to set a benchmark for that that across all cores you're going to be able to save uh, states, then that's a bigger deal. And again, this is doing it with the carts. This isn't going to be like a Retron Five and pull the ROM out first. You're playing it directly, so it's 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 a little bit different here. It is okay. You're not using ROMs in terms of like just pulling them. Well, I guess you can say, well, you're playing the ROMs, but uh, you're using a ROM. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's but, still the but, same file. But you're not pulling it to do emulation functions like a Retron Five. It's a little bit okay. Head, I find that. that to be a minor. Okay. 
I feel like that's a fairly that's, minor thing. Has it been done before? No, I'm, I, I, I'm not saying it has. I'm saying what you're focusing on isn't, I don't okay. think that's the big deal. You're looking at the end result ver, ver, versus like what it took to get there, I, I see. But okay. Um, so yeah, the second dedicated FPGA just for developers to develop and port their own cores. And then you can able to interface with analog OS library, memories, and tools. And, and, and to pocket hardware, IOs, and scalers. We think developers are going to do some amazing things. Maybe. I mean, like now we're in this, this sort of realm with stuff like the Playdate where you're encouraging developers to, you know, tinker around yes. with, with a handheld. So that's good. Um, and then there's going to be stuff like features that you see in like emulator front ends where you'll see like the game information displayed and things like that. Yeah, no I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in having a nice front end, especially if it gives a little bit of information. Screenshots you can capture. Yep, you can capture screenshots. Uh, tools to track your gameplay you can keep track of how long you've been playing games for i mean honestly it's interesting that, but that to me is the that's the that's where i feel like i'm gonna have the most fun with it if i really wanted all of the other stuff i would probably look into mister however i do like the idea that it's going to be able to something so silly as being able to track the time i've played a, a game for that i'm actually interested in i hate it when modern systems don't keep track of how long i've played a game for it drives me absolutely oh, some nuts. don't do that a P playstation 4 for instance doesn't keep track oh. of how long unless the a game itself oh. has an internal clock then the one thing i was confused about the one big thing i was confused about was the playlist feature um because this isn't like sharing like you know you're sharing like an uh, you know uh, like uh mp3 playlist with someone and they can just get, download the games if this is in theory you're using the real software the real physical media playlists and transfer them person to person doesn't really mean anything anymore unless it got jailbroken and you had roms then it would make sense but on its surface the playlist thing to me I, i'm trying to i'm struggling to i'm struggling in my head unless you want to just share hey Ian, this is what i'm playing right now but like that's Usually with playlists, when you share them in the past, like they're, they're, they're usable, if that makes sense. And this is the only thing to me that works. It's, it's probably like a nice extra. I think it's okay, we can add on playlists and what you're playing and transfer them to people and share. You know, I don't, what, do you have any thoughts on that, on the playlist function? I, I mean, that to me just seems like more fluff and some people get really into it and will find something to do with it. Other people um, yeah, will not. Because if you're using, say, say, say you have a playlist of, uh, of you know, Game Boy games you like. Well, you still got to pop it out, put the next one in to play it on the playlist, right? So, right. Like, like I said, Pat, a lot of this is very yeah, much a wink and a nudge. That, but that's more than a wink, if, the, if it's because like the playlist becomes useless unless you have ROMs, like like so, a, ROMs on your system. I, 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 I am excited to look at it and get into it and see what it offers when I get my pocket. Um, we'll see. Here's the thing: this was already sold out pre-orders of pocket. Like this is this was sold this is selling like hotcakes regardless. So like you said, this this is like maybe if it's a shot across the uh, you know the ballot at the at the Mister folks, you know, you you now have all these extra features that you weren't expecting this to, to be on your pocket, you know. So right. so now you have it. It's, so now with the doc, you know, for three hundred, and, and again, I don't know enough about it. Don't come at me. But you have you are we are now approaching something similar to the mister but you can pick it up and take it with you and it uses physical cartridges for at least some of it and, and you don't have to you know be a tech head in order to get it going you know this is like out of the box functionality which we always say like when people say like oh you can get a retro pie for this or that or mister does that it's like the general public doesn't want to bother a lot of times with that. they don't have the time to get into it uh, knowing all this stuff just give me like a simple solution that's you know pre-packaged and ready to go well i think you if know. you really want to get mister type capabilities out of this thing if that's where it's going that's still going to require I uh, mean, like loading on cores and yes, things like that. That's still obviously going to take some work. But jailbreaking and putting on ROMs won't be. Most people can handle that aspect at least. Yes. I mean, like building your own Mister and sourcing it and doing all that stuff and loading the cores. And once it starts going over my head, you're in trouble. That's what I'm saying. When I don't want to deal with it. Well, I probably, well, I could figure it out. I don't want to put the time to figure it out. So this is interesting to me because now that you have this operating system. That is like fully engaged. This isn't just you know load up a game or you know simple features like this or you know adding scale lines, what have you. Um, they have future products on the way. They have the Duo coming out. This 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 supports Turbo Graphics games. This OS we know that already. You know, so could the, could that appear on the Duo in the future? Could this also appear? Could they do an, uh, a firmware update and, and use this on the past? consoles as an option like this is interesting i wonder how much of its functionality is going to be tied to the second fpga and if they wanted to put the os on the previous ones they would have to print new ones basically do a, a mega sg2 or a 
versus just a firmware upgrade. Right. That'll be interesting. I wonder how much but, having two FPGAs is useful, is for, this. useful for is or allowing this, whereas one maybe wouldn't. Or maybe but just do an alternate, do a cut down version. Because like to me, it'd be like weird to have the ability to have like the Turbo Graphics library, which because this can play it, PC Engine, and now your Duo comes out maybe next year sometime, and now it doesn't have that. So it's, you already have the capability, you know. So I I think that's probably unknown. Obviously, analog communicates things as they do on their own terms. So we'll see. But I I would be shocked if they put all the R and D into this just for the pocket. No, just for the pocket. It's absolutely not just for the pocket. I don't think that's you know. I yeah. I don't think anyone thinks it would just be for the pocket. I think we'll see it, even if like you said they, oh God, they strip it down to a lighter version yeah. of it for specific systems. Sure. You're going to see this OS and front end on other stuff because they the, do. the save states alone is a game changer to me. It's a game changer to you to use you know the original carts FPGA. You know you're real time playing it. You're not pulling for. You know, you're not, you're not stripping the ROM out like with the Retron 5 and using an emulator. What I'm trying to, to get big. here is the bigger deal is that it's save states on an FPGA, not the fact that it's using the cart. But but what I'm saying, is, okay, we're splicing here, but this is big, that's big to me. That's that's going to appeal to a lot of people with these products, I think. Sure. You know, so yeah, I, I'm I'm hoping to get a pocket <laughs> whenever the second batch becomes available. You know, for for, for pre order next year, whenever they announce that. So 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 this doesn't obviously you're excited regardless. Does this enhance your excitement or just like, oh, this is nice to have the extra stuff? It's a wait and see. It's a wait and see. You I think it's you... nice. I mean, a, 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 a nice operating system is great. What it can be used for in the future is what's more exciting, and I don't know enough to comment on that yet. Um, you know, I was happy enough with the pocket just doing what it said on the tin. So On, on, the, on, on the tin? Yeah. On the spam tin? Yeah. <laughs> now, now less sodium for that? All right, I guess I guess we'll report back. Hopefully in December we can have your full your full uh, report on it. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, they haven't announced another delay, have they? No, but they waited. They waited not until the last last minute, but they waited until pretty close for but, the last one too. But by now, for it to come out in December, it's got to be on the boat. It's got it's got to be coming over. So I, like, I would hope so. Yes. So if they didn't, that would be that would be bad form. But all right, looking forward to what people think about it. It's, it's exciting times.